Hi YouTube family, hi YouTube family, how are you all doing? How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. Yes, welcome to another video. This is Victorious Mirabel. Here we talk about faith, lifestyle, fashion, other pertains to life and godliness. Yes, other pertains to life and godliness. Yep. So today we're gonna be doing another video and I'm gonna be sharing how I resent my job. Yes, I resigned my job in the midst of the pandemic. That's weird. Like, I know that's weird. Like, it sounds silly. It sounds foolish. Just a um, disclaimer. I'm not one of those people who, who believe that um, a 9 to 4 or a 9 to 5 job is not valid. I'm not one of those people. Like... When it comes to you working and building your finances and um, just looking at the season and shifting, I feel like it's a personal journey and is. I solely believe that as a Christian, it has to depend on your relationship and the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. I believe so much in God ordering our steps in our day-to-day -day lives. I don't believe because other people don't believe in things. I shouldn't believe in things. No, we should be ordered. We should be led by the spirit of discernment. So, the, just a disclaimer. So I'm going to be sharing a, the story of how I resigned my job in the midst of this pandemic. Yeah. So it was long coming and I had been procrastinating for a long time. Just thinking, oh, am I sure? Am I, this is really what I want to do. Sometimes we get so comfortable with where we are in that even when God is pushing us into purpose, into greatness, we resist because we are so comfortable. We are used to where we are and yes nothing good comes from your comfort zone we need to allow god to be able to stretch us we need to allow god to be able to to lead us into the deeps we always sing the song the deep call it the deep we need to allow god to actually lead us into the deep and we thinking that both even when god is leading us he still we still have a part to play to take that bold step of faith when god is impressing that need in your heart so that's what i'm going to be sharing how that need was being impressed in my heart for the longest time how i resisted god because i as ever everyone knows those who have been following me i'm very frugal when it comes to my income i'm a very big believer in planning the bible says that who who when wanting to build a house will not sit down and count the cost i believe so much in counting the cost and that's why i, I share a lot of financial videos so i was in this place in life where god i felt like i, I got tired mentally of the job i felt like god was calling me to leave my job not because i heard a voice but because i felt like i'm wasting my time i wasn't feeling fulfilled i wasn't feeling like it wasn't just serving me yes the money was good but i wasn't fulfilled and that's where we also have to realize money is not everything in life money can be useful but it's not everything in life sometimes we shouldn't put money above everything then it will kind of like blur our vision or blur our leading or sometimes limit us from seeing other opportunities around us because we are so focused on holding on to the, what, the little we have sometimes you need to let go to be able to dive into bigger things so that was where i was in life and i just felt like god was really leading me to let go i felt like there were a lot of things that i i was missing i love reading i love shooting videos i love taking pictures i love networking i love meeting people studying learn about different cultures and different places and just explore the world especially with the internet so i feel like i wasn't having that time to do those things that i those are those things that i'm passionate about i love to do so i was just at that place where i was done mentally i was done like i was done and i felt like i had given in my best in my job that was my first job i had when i moved to edmonton for all those who don't know i'm in canada i lived a period of time in vancouver in bc then i moved to edmonton in 2018 that was one of the first jobs i got so i've had that job for two years plus so it was hard i had the attachment it was hard to leave but i had to and i'm gonna insect clips of the day i literally was feeling my resume letter and signing it was so emotional i was very unsure like 
I can't lie to you guys that I had everything planned out. I knew that all oh, this is what I was going to be doing, but I knew that I was done. Like in my spirit, I knew that it wasn't fulfilling anymore. I needed to do something else. I, I felt like God was calling me to other things. And yeah, that day was very emotional. I'm going to insert the clip how I feel on my relationship like that. And I submitted it. Yo, finally I'm doing this. Oh my God. I am finally doing this. It's, it feels so weird, but a girl got to do this. I'm finally resigning my job. I'm finally resigning my job. Yep. Yeah. But we got to do this. We got to do it. I know I've been procrastinating forever, but at this point, I feel like purpose is calling. Like, purpose is calling. So, I'm just filling in my resignation form i can't show you guys the details because he has so much confidential information i'm filling in my resignation form people of god i'm filling in my resignation form yep resignation form being filled oh i'm gonna miss working here i'm gonna miss working here but we got to do what we got to do and i'm grateful i'm thankful father i'm thankful i'm grateful this is my first job i go when i got to edmonton yeah then i moved to edmonton two years ago and lord i'm so grateful that you have used me i gave him my all and i'm thankful now it's time to move to the next assignment yep at this point i just know purpose is calling i don't know what god has in store but i believe that he has great things in store. We just have to let some things go for us to be able to grab that which God has in store for us. And that's where I am at. Yep. Yep. So I put in my resignation today. I'm giving him one more notice. So May 1st will be my official, official last day at work. People of God. I'm grateful. It feels weird, but I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm excited. Yep. Has it been challenging? Yes. Did I live there on shore not knowing what the future holds? Yes. But I knew that even if I don't get a job or I don't do any other thing, there were things I was so passionate about I was going to be doing that were going to be fulfilled. I just needed to get back, just get that space, do those things that are going to be fulfilling. Have I regretted my actions? Nope. I haven't because for the past weekend and the past weeks that because that was two months ago the past week months that I've been home I have really done a lot with my time that I'm grateful that I did follow the leading of God to resign my job I've had a lot of meetings I had a lot of networking I've had a lot of opportunities to interact learn teach people and just do fulfilling things things that I'm really excited and happy doing which is very fulfilling that money cannot even buy so i'm just sharing this story to say that maybe you are out there and you are in my that the place where i was in when god was leading you to leave that thing it might not be a job it might be a relationship which is toxic it might be toxic friends it might be toxic habits and you are holding on to it because that's all you know because you don't trust god you are feeling like oh if i leave my friends who am i gonna call friends or if i leave this guy or if i leave this girl who is toxic i'm not gonna meet any other guy or any other girl out there no god has so much in store there is so much out there in store for us sometimes we limit ourselves because we have put ourselves in this box we are so comfortable where we are at that the greater part of life is passing us by the greater part of life is passing us by even when opportunities are calling we can't move because we feel we are very comfortable nothing good i always say nothing good comes from your comfort zone so if you are in that place then god is leading you or you have other business opportunity step out in faith step out in faith and let god glorify himself step out in faith another disclaimer i'm gonna say i'm not saying that you should go resign your job and be lazy about no that's what i'm saying i'm not a lazy person and i don't support laziness the bible says if a man doesn't work he should not eat you should have um, a, a plan you should have things that you want to don't just resign your job because you want to resign no let it be a leading as i would say let the holy spirit listen let it be a condition in your spirit 
and pr um, pray about it. Maybe you have a business proposal. Maybe you have other things that which are meaningful. You know within you, God is laying your heart. You know within, without a, a shadow of doubt that this is what you are passionate about. You want to do, but you are scared. This video is to encourage to break that fear and step out in faith and do that which God has called you to do. Get out of your comfort zone. Shake it off. What's the worst that can happen? I, I don't believe that people fail in life. You just learn. You just learn. When things don't work out, you just learn. And next time you learn to do it better. So I'm encouraging you and I'm challenging you in this video. Step out in faith. Stop procrastinating. Stop staying or don't be so comfortable in your comfort zone. Yep. Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video. Yeah, see you guys in my next video. God bless you. Love you all.